recording yeah so hello everyone welcome back to my channel and good morning uh, as you have just seen from the title of today's video today I am out searching for insect I was here actually something like I think three weeks ago but I couldn't find any insect at all and I went back home so sad <laughs> and I couldn't find any insect so today after three weeks it seems like actually it seems like it's so promising I started to find some insect as I'm walking here I I still didn't uh, take off my my camera from the bag I didn't try to take any photo but as I'm walking here I started to find insects flying everywhere and I start I started to hear that in my ear today I am in, in a small woodland area it's like a mile away and it's full of trees and meadows everywhere meadows I'm saying it right let's see that in Google translation I think I'm saying it right meadows I mean that word meadows I was saying it right anyway <laughs> So I used to come here when I want to search for insects because as I said there's a lot of trees and on the other side it's so calm and you don't find a lot of people walking here. So let's search together and see what can we find. I found two bees here flying around but the problem I am not sure if I want to take off my bag and take off my camera I'm not sure if they will wait for me let's try that So let's talk about the setup that I'm using today. I wanted to explain that from the beginning before started taking photos because you will be a little bit confused from seeing my setup. So as you can see I am having my 50mm lens reversed but I am not attaching it directly to the camera. I have my Nisi closer filter. So the reverse ring is not on the lens, it's on the Nisi closer filter. I have the first element is the reverse ring, after that comes the Nisi closer filter, and after that the 50mm lens. Only I have only here a small filter because the size, the filter size of my filter is not the same of my 50 millimeter lens the filter size of the 50 millimeter lens is 58 and my filter is 52 and that's why i have i have here a small filter as you can see just to be able to attach them together and if i want to talk about the light source i'm using the codox flash as you can see and obviously i will not use it like that because it will be so harsh I am having my handmade softbox if you know me if you saw my old macro videos it's so likely that you saw this handmade softbox that I made to be able to make the light source soft and nice you may ask yourself why I am making the hard way like that uh, the reason, as you know, reversing any lens gives you the poss possibility to make macro photos. But I want more than that. I want, I want to reverse my lens, but at the same time I want to be closer to my subject. I want my subject to look bigger in the photo and that's why I'm using my uh, Nisi Closer filter with the lens and all of them together reversed. 
that will give me if I am saying it right more magnification and it will easily give me the possibility to be closer to the insect let's say for example only as example let's say that the 50 millimeter lens reversed without the Nisi closer filter will make me able for example to take a photo of the whole body of a big insect but using the setup like that the reverse 15 meter lens and the Nisi closer filter will make me able to take the photo only of the face of this big insect for example and that's why today I am so excited to try to take photos with this setup because I didn't try that before I did use the Nisi closer filter but I use it with my 70 7300 millimeter lens, the Sigma 7300 millimeter lens, but I haven't ever used the Nisi closer filter with a reversed lens. I haven't used that before. The thing that I like doing the most or it's preferable, so preferable to do when you are taking macro photos in a day like that, not over overcast and it's so sunny and there's a lot of harsh highlights. I like to block the subject from the sunlight using my body. Like here for example, I was trying to take photos but the sunlight is so harsh and if I want to use the flash also, the photo will be not only overexposed it will be uh, there will be a lot of harsh highlights so that's why i was trying to pluck the flower and the insect with my body so it will be in the shade area and the soft light which is coming from the flash will make the main light source because if there's a sun uh, sunlight in the photo the flash will not anymore be the main light source for the photo and I want this soft light this beautiful soft light which is coming from my softbox to be the main light source for the photo to be in order to be the photo you know soft and nice light and not a harsh light What I like the most today in today's setup is that because my lens is so small and because I'm reversing it, that means I have to be so close to the subject or so close to the insect that I'm taking photos of. At the same time, because I am so close, my light source, my softbox is also so close to the insect. As you have just seen in the last photo, the light on the insect on the eyes or in the body is so soft and as you know the closer you are the, the, the light source the closer the light source to the subject or to the insect the softer the light will be and that's why I'm so happy in today's setup because I think or I am sure I haven't made sharp macro photos like today and in a beautiful soft light like today because my old method that I was trying the lens is so big for example and that's why the light source is far away from the insect like the Sigma 7300 millimeter lens for example when I want to take the photo normally the lens is not reversed the insect is far away and that's why the light source is far away and the light is a little bit harsh on the body on the eyes of the insect today because my lens is so small and I'm reversing it if I want to take a photo of an, of an insect I, and I want it to be in focus 
the subject will be something like here so as you can see the soft light is directly above the subject and so close and that's why the light is so soft and so beautiful so these were all the photos for today thanks a lot for watching i hope you like the photos and i hope you like the video if you are not a subscriber please consider subscribing if you like macro photography if you like landscape photography you are in the right place and to my subscribers thanks a lot for supporting me for always supporting me and see you hopefully in the next video bye for now